um, I really want to center on a couple of things. First of all, uh, as it relates to what we all do on a day-to-day -day basis. Everybody wants to be successful. For us, we've got 18 to 21 year olds. For us to be successful, we need to develop our young men. So we need to create an environment on a day-to-day -day basis that our kids enjoy going to work every day. And that's what I want to talk about. Going to work every day and enjoying that environment. You can't do it unless there's a couple of things in place. First of all, everybody's got to be there for the same reason. And the same reason as it relates to the group that I'm talking to today is being industrious. If you're here just to punch the clock every day, what I talk about is not going to reach you. You can go to all the seminars you want and have all the motivational speakers that you want. If you're just into it to punch the clock every day, then it's not going to help you today. For those that are industrious, for those that like to go to work and look at each day as a challenge and an exciting opportunity to do new things, then we got a chance to connect. And that brings us to the parallel that I was talking to you about when I got to the University of Cincinnati on the first day. What we were talking about is what we can do to be successful and how we were going to create that atmosphere. And we did it by working on winning every single day. If I ask you right now, what do you know about winning? What do you really know about winning? I'd get a lot of different answers. Here's what I know about winning for sure. You can't start winning until you stop losing. What does that mean? Anything that takes away from being productive, anything that takes away from the team on a day-to-day -day basis has got to be eradicated. So for us, when I walked in there, I had a bunch of kids text messaging, hey, this guy's up talking about winning the Big East in two years. He's a whack job. Pay attention. Listen with your eyes if you have to, if this doesn't apply to you. But working on winning can happen in any business, in any organization, in any program on a day-to-day -day basis. And it starts, it starts with the basic principles and the basic values that you all teach on a day-to-day -day basis in your own homes. Commitment, trust, caring. All of those traditional values, that's working on winning every day. Because if I waited till Saturday to work on winning with our football team, we'd win as many as we lose. So we went to work on winning immediately. Habit forming. That's what we're trying to do. Because we want to get them to the highest level. Unconscious competence. They don't have to think about doing the right things. They know if they're going down the wrong track. They know if they're hanging with the wrong guys. They know if they're at a party and it goes from 8 to 80, uh, 80 people in the party. Hey, time to go. Time to get out of here. Good habits on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, we are not there. We have not arrived at unconscious competence. We have some that have those good habits, and we're getting more. Because just like any other business or organization, I get to pick my guys. You get to pick yours. And so what I'm looking for, I want those that understand how important it is to be committed. How important it is to be able to trust. How important it is to respect others. And if those sound like traditional values, they are. And they can be espoused on a day-to-day -day basis within your business or organization. And working on winning every day allows you to do that. And it creates the atmosphere now that you're not just punching the clock. 
When you start caring about each other, and I didn't say you got to hang out at the end of the day and that you have to sing Kumbaya at 5 o'clock before you go home or have campfires together. But you got to care about each other, that you're all in it for the same reason that you all want to work on winning every day. And guess what happens? One of the greatest things starts to the rise to the top. It's called pride in what you do. When you can create a sense of pride, like our football team had, they weren't representing just the University of Cincinnati last year. They were representing every person that lives in the greater Cincinnati area. They carried that sense of pride with them on a day-to-day -day basis. And it showed up on the way they played. We weren't the most talented team, but you know what we did? We played harder, longer than virtually every team we played against. Harder, longer, industriousness. Our kids cared about each other. They trusted each other. They were committed. And how do we do that? Because the very first day we worked on winning. And what do you now know about winning? You can't start winning until you stop losing. And you can build that every single day. And you can work through the levels. There are four levels there. Unconscious incompetence. Conscious incompetence. Conscious competence and unconscious competence. And it requires you to work each level. I think if you do that, you can create the atmosphere that we all want, and that is when I go to work each and every day, I know that I've got an opportunity to be successful. Because that's what we have to do. Things are tough. But we, if you can work on winning every day, you have a great chance of being successful. How am I doing for time? Am I okay? Do I